most interesting stories and happenings that you should be updated about are all here. Namaste, salam, satsri akal. I am Shamali and you are watching Z Connect Season 5 and we are back with some more exciting stories from Dubai and around UAE. Well, it's been a while since we've seen actors Phuket Samrad and Yami Gautam on the big screen and they are back in an intensely dramatic story called Sanam Ray. They were here in Dubai to talk more about this movie. Here's the interview. सड़कों पे मैं तेरा इंतजार करूं धीरे धीरे दिल की जमीन को तेरे ही नाम करूं एंड कंग्रेचुलेशंस द म्यूजिक हैज बीन वेरी वेल रिसीव्ड वर यू एक्सपेक्टिंग दैट यस वी वर एक्सपेक्टिंग I think if that wouldn't have happened, we would have been really heartbroken. Mm -hmm. uh, regardless of whether we are a part of this song or not, but uh, it's one of the most melodious songs Absolutely. to be heard in ages. Absolutely. Right. And about your characters, Akash and Shruti, I heard about it a while back. What was the most challenging part while playing them? I think uh, also the fact that we played with the age, with the age groups. Mm -hmm. As you've seen, we play the Turkish part. Also. Oh yes, you start right and, there. And uh, yes, right there. Mm -hmm. So I had to cut my fringe. So mm -hmm. that's not really a fake she, patch. She really case. cried. Is it? Yes. Oh, I, I don't like fidgeting much with my hair. So it wasn't a wig. You really did it. Oh. I really had to do it. And hmm. every time they would wear a wig, I should say, patchwork. Hmm. Till today, they're not wig. Oh my god. <laughs> I know it takes forever to come. <laughs> yeah. So you guys have shot at some really beautiful places in India. How is that? Ladakh yeah. and I think yes, North. Ladakh and uh, uh, Kalpa. Hmm. I'm sure I'd be familiar with Shimla. Of course, yes. It's eight, nine hours ahead of Shimla. Hmm. So yeah, I think I had a great time shooting there. I think uh, you know, I'm just lying. No, they didn't have a great time <laughs> no. shooting there. It was so Must be cold. Good. Yeah, no. exactly. You know, she always says that shooting a romantic <laughs> film is the most unromantic experience. Ever. I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you're seeing here is mm. like maybe a very romantic frame, mm. snow falling, there's right. rain happening. But uh, what is happening Nietzsche and after the shot? Yeah. No one knows. Yeah. The most weird side, somebody standing with a blanket, somebody standing with a singly, somebody is putting some up on my head. Mm. On, I don't know. It's, it's, it's very so you literally run under the blanket after it's all done. If we could run. Whatever the high street shot in the snow, we could run to. to and, and I believe the tables have turned now. You probably had to do a shirtless shot in that uh, temperature, is that right? Yeah, so I was the glamour in the film. <laughs> yeah, you were the glamour in the film. And of course, we've seen both of you, in fact, uh, grow and uh, proliferate from uh, television. And it is so nice to see you prosper up till here on the big screen. How has the journey been for you if you had to choose between one ever? What would it be? I, I don't think so. It's about the choice that we make. About mm. it. Uh, we work hard towards uh, getting better and better. Mm. But it's always the choice that audiences make. That's true. If, if they like me to perform on the street for them, I'll perform on the street for them. Mm. If they like me to perform on the stage, I'll do it on stage. Mm. If they like me to perform on the small screen, I'll do it on small screen. Mm. I've done on all three media. True. And uh, now they're liking me on the big screen, so I'm doing it for them on the big screen. It's the core is to entertain the audience. Mm. That's mm. Well, inshallah, we hope it continues. Yami, what about you? No, I think uh, uh, anybody who associates yourself with the salad days of the career when you're a nobody mm. is always very special. And I think television gave me that opportunity, mm. uh, hand-holding me and actually literally like guiding me. I didn't even know what's a mark or what's what's makeup, what's True. anything. I had no idea. Mm. So I'll always be, I think, I'll always have a um, lot of respect for television. and. Mm. We went back and I think to promote, we need television as much as, you know, it's the other way around. True. But I think having said that, of course, um, uh, we, we all evolve with time. We all True. Evolve with time. And I've always believed in, in giving voice to my choices in terms of the creative aspect and doing work, which I love doing. So I'm really happy when I am. Really well, happy. we are very really happy to <laughs> see you on both screens and we Thank hope you. you continue to entertain Thank us. You. Thank so you so much. Well, that was a lovely crew from the movie Sanamre and we wish them all the luck. 
Recently, we were invited to an initiative for raising money for children through Red Crescent. Twelve women at Al Badia organized a family picnic brunch for this noble cause. Here's the story. The objective of today is we are working under the banner of the Emirates Red Crescent. It's all to do with that. Now this picnic, of course somebody will go to Red Crescent who you know are helping uh, Yemen, Syria, everything. They also help some of our other worldwide programs. And uh, so we are just lucky that we, today is a lovely day and Emirates Red Crescent have given us the permission. So it's all about working for the right cause, the children, and if you want, you can always go on our website, which is www.chfdubai.org. Today we're raising funds for Red Crescent and it feels great to be here because it's a brilliant day and uh, picnic is something very we don't do normally very rarely in Dubai. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. we definitely we, we, we are out with like our friends and partying and you know other events but this is like a very good atmosphere, great uh, you know with our children. Is and this your first time here? Yeah, this yeah, is my first great. time. So yeah. Lovely. It is and, very nice. Um, I think a lot of people are coming, they're on their way and they're mats, they're tables yeah. and there's lots of fun and frolic and stalls and um, fabulous way to raise money and help and you know do something for the community. It's a great day for a great cause. I think in Dubai, one thing uh, I realized is the Indian community is very dynamic and it's always ready to contribute to a very uh, uh, noble causes. Uh, and uh, this is one of one such occasion. Red Crescent has been doing great work. And in fact, they have been associated with us also in the past few days. So I'm very happy to be here. Yeah, I must uh, say that it is a great uh, initiative and uh, you know to raise funds for charity and I am very impressed with the work done by all the ladies here and they've worked very hard I can tell you they've uh, associated me also and uh, for the last uh, several uh, months they've been working hard to make this a success so I uh, salute all of them who've uh, done so much. more coming up on this episode of Z Connect Season 5. We'll be right here at Le Meridian right after the short break. <music> Valentine's Day was loaded with enthusiasm with people telling their special someone how much they mean to them. And of course Dubai was bustling with activity and Z Connect is here to tell you all about it. Queen's Beauty Lounge organized a chocolatious Valentine's party that focused on looking your best on the special day. Here's the story. <music> Workshop uh, here at Queen's Beauty Lounge in Dubai Marina uh, in conjunction with uh, Yonka, Yonka Paris, which is our new uh, skincare brand that we're using here at Queen's. Um, Yonka is a French skincare brand. We have 60 years in the industry now. Last year we celebrated our 60th anniversary. We are a aromatherapy and phytotherapy uh, skincare brand, so we use a combination of both in our treatments.
it's about the Queen Spa. They are uh, opening uh, today. Uh, they are celebrating the opening today, and I'm really happy to be here. It's a, a great uh, chance to be with the amazing people and creative people like them. No, which, uh, Queen Queen's Beauty uh, Salon. Um, there is two workshops for makeup and uh, spa procedures, and I'm very excited to win this dinner for two for Valentine's Day. So thank you so much, and I wish them great success. I wanted to launch this brand, uh, this branch, because we have another branch in JLT. Uh, we launched that in uh, October, and uh, I just wanted to take this opportunity and uh, invite the friends uh, and the bloggers to come and attend the event which has never been held in Dubai. We wanted to launch a spa in a different way. We wanted to do a masterclass of beauty and makeup, which is, I think, the main aspect for any beautiful girl. She wants to have the best makeup and she wants to have the best skin. So we wanted people to come and experience that. See, Valentine is love, right? This is the month of love. And for I, we are running a campaign for 14 days for Valentine, started from the 1st of uh, February till the 14th of February. And uh, the reason for us to run this campaign and to launch in between these two weeks was for every girl to feel loved. I want every girl to come and pamper themselves. As my brand stands for Queens, I want every girl to feel like Queens. Well, Valentine's fever abhi tak khatam nahi hua hai. We recently visited Ara Ishpret, which was a dream come true for most women. Be it fashion, in clothes or jewellery, the best designers presented their works to the crowd of Dubai. And the fact that it's done for charity made it all a little more effective. It feels amazing. This is the third time we're coming back in a year. We have our regular clientele here. We have so many new people coming in and everybody loves our stuff. So for Valentine's this year, we've done a lot of red, orange, fuchsia pink and a lot of bell sleeves, retro styles to get with the 70s whole trend. Well, Arish is always exciting. We have worked with them with uh, Mumbai and it has, uh, in fact, Hyderabad for that matter. And it was very, very nice. They have always been able to pull decent people. And by decent people, I mean I am into a very sophisticated brand and uh, I want people with some taste and I always find it through them. And more importantly, I'm into uh, a fashion brand that works on hand painting and uh, each and every piece is painted by hand and uh, it's a high fashion castle so that even a youngster, someone who is a large size, someone who is a extra, double XL size, so if you like a pattern which I have here, make sure that it fits well to everybody. Aish is basically a fundraiser. It's for our NGO called Pride India. And it was um, started by my mom 25 years ago. In fact, this is our 25th year. And it's all for charity. There's no business angle in it for us at all. I just want to make that very clear because that's very important. And basically, it's um, we raise funds for the children, for women empowerment, for health and education. This is a rural program. Pride India is a rural arm of Save the Children India. And it's been great because we've been coming back each year and by the grace of God and I guess because we do it all from our heart and it's all good work. So for Valentine's Day I think a lot of girls like to feel very feminine and dress up in like, you know, clothes which make you feel sexy. So um, the dresses that we've got, like the wrap dresses are all in silk and they, you know, with little small details, embroidery or whatever. Feminine, um, distinctive, and yet something that you wear quite often enough, not something you wear only once from put away in your closet. So yeah, a lot of our stuff, we have a lot of hot crop tops, clothy skirts, clothy pants, um, clothy saris, so uh, lots of variety, I think, for people who are looking for Valentine's Day and to, to see them into the summer season. I think that the 
is very uh, you can make the other person feel special by just showing some love some gift or something and if it is customized then it is more uh, you just feel more happy about it so what we do is that we do customized cupcakes with your personal messages or cakes so that will uh, make it extra special that uh, you know it's uh, if your name is written or your picture or with the flowers and if you were just saying it with so many designs and all that and uh, it's festive and it's really it shows love so that's how we actually do it here so this year's Arash um, has been fantastic it's the Arash Pret show and uh, I organize Arash Dubai um, together with Mana Shetty and Sharmila Khanna and this is the 10th Arash in Dubai and as you know it supports a noble cause you know where glamour and giving go together so it's been a fantastic turnout and uh, I think we've got a great lineup of designers we have Vikram Farnes, Roshni Chopra, we have Nortanki, we have Madison, uh, we have Nazar from Hindu Abbott, Hema of uh, the label and we've got Pinakin and a lot of other designers apart from of course our beautiful uh, artistry lounge at Malabar and uh, Golden Diamonds especially created for us. So it's been a very, very good experience. All the shoppers are happy. We've been feeding them well, you know, giving them good goodie bags. So it's been a good turnout this year. Uh, Arash means a fundraiser, moving exhibition that moves, travels from city to city, collect, helping collect funds for Pride India that uh, helps educate uh, thousands of children in India, uh, helps uh, the hearing and speech impart children and the NGO uh, that we run. So it, it's, it's a feeder, uh, you know, to, to, to good things. So every time we, uh, we're excited about Dubai always because the crowd's always been brilliant. And uh, the more the people, the more the collection to help those very kids. Z Connect continues after a quick short break and an exciting story for the adventure seeking people coming up right now, so stay tuned. Thank you very much for joining us once again. Z Connect is your best guide to know about the most happening events in and around UAE. We recently covered the National School League football for the age group of 14 and 16 years. Let's take you there. Today is the final of the uh, Emirates Islamic National School League football. Uh, we're doing a bit different with, uh, compared to cricket. We're having the semi-finals, which are being played at the moment, and then they'll have an hour break and come back and play their finals. And then the under-16s will come on and also play. So it's, uh, it's been about three months of football action across the whole of UAE uh, with Sharjah, Abu Dhabi, Dubai schools, uh, Fujera, Alain. So it's the final day, so it's very exciting. Well, um, we've come into it really positively. We want to win this competition. We want to go far. We've done up. We've done well uh, up to now. Uh, we got knocked out in the under 14s uh, last week, we, uh, which you know did hurt a little bit for me. But now we've got to look on with the under 16s and try and win because we did a really good com uh, comeback uh, last week. So we're really happy with our performance last week. So. Hopefully we can do the same and replicate it today. Hopefully Ali has me to win, so I can say. Uh, actually, it's a very good experience, and uh, we want to say uh, thank you for all the teams who participate uh, for participating in this uh, inaugural. We want to say that uh, it's a good chance for us, for our school, uh, Asal of Salah Private School, uh, to share in this uh, inaugural uh, in order to improve the skills of our uh, players. And uh, also, we want to thank uh, the, uh, all the people, all the coach who uh, are in this uh, inaugural. I'm very happy because I scored one goal and assist one goal. 
Well, before we wind up, there's just enough time to tell you about one of the best upcoming adventure sports in Dubai. It's called Zipline Adventure and it connects two buildings in downtown Dubai and you're suspended on a thin zipline and you zip across the entire Burj Musical Fountain area. Well, sounds scary? Well, it is more exciting than scary and I had the opportunity to experience this. Here's a little snippet of the adventure. He was super excited right now because X Dubai has invited us to try their beautiful activity called zip line. Right now, I'm on the 26th floor, and the way it works is I will be harnessed onto this delicate little rope here, and I will be sliding down. The flight is about 36 seconds, and I will land on Dubai Mall, the Fashion Avenue, right? Fashion Avenue of Dubai Mall. 36 seconds of jitters and um, excitement. So I'm ready to be harnessed and uh, I'm gonna mic off myself right now. which I'm going to zip line in a few minutes and I'm waiting for my other camera crew to reach the other side at the Fashion Avenue of Dubai Mall and uh, the more you wait actually you kind of get more karma so it's, uh, it's also more scary. The Burj is right here, I'm going to have a camera in my hand so we're going to get some great shots hopefully. amazing if you ever get a chance do try it out and trust me it's very high the view is beautiful but try it out especially when the fountain is on and now i need to get off well that is all for this week's episode of z connect you write into us with your feedback on a facebook page or on a twitter page and in case you happen to miss any episode don't get sad just log on to youtube and type in z connect season 5 and we'll be right there and of course if there are any interesting stories that you want us to cover just write to us and we'll do it for you we'll be back with some more exciting stories next week only on z connect until then this is shamali saying goodbye